If you live in the United States, you've probably heard this song before. This is the iconic coup of the morning dove, which is an unmistakable sound that is even nostalgic to many people living in North America, reminding them of days playing outside in their neighborhood. Morning doves can be found in every one of the lower 48 states during some part of the year, and are often seen perching on power lines or tree branches. Males actually have favorite perches that they will sing from, and will even defend them from other males. Most of the time, morning doves have a shy, unassuming appearance, with a large body, tan brown and pink coloration, black spots on their wings, a soft blue around their eyes, and a sometimes noticeable iridescence on their neck. In your backyard, you may also see morning doves at your bird feeder, and they may dominate a feeding station, especially if multiple individuals are feeding at the same time. Their appetite is also quite large, with the Cornell Lab of Ornithology stating they eat about 12 to 20 percent of their body weight every day. This has led some people to dislike morning doves, since they view them as hogging the feeder. While some indeed prefer these large birds not visit, to many others, morning doves are always a welcome sight due to their relatively docile personality, beautiful color, and goofiness while feeding, often bobbing their heads as they meander along the ground, picking up seeds. When they're not loafing around in your neighborhood, morning doves can also be found in forests, grasslands, or agricultural areas. A very adaptable bird, they seem to be found in most habitats, even those that are well populated by humans. In addition to seeing morning doves on power lines and tree branches, they will also forage along the ground and can blend in so well that you may not even notice them until they take flight. During the breeding season, sometimes multiple birds can be seen flying close together, which is normally the male of a mated pair in front, followed by a rival male competing for a nest area, and then the mated female. Nesting can take place in trees or vines, but they will also nest on the ground or on man-made structures. Unfortunately, morning doves are known for being horrible nest makers, sometimes only using a few sticks with other materials mixed in. They normally have about two eggs per nest, which hatch after about two weeks. After hatching, the baby morning doves are closed-eyed and helpless, relying on their parents for survival. Parents feed the young birds crop milk, which is a high-fat and high-protein liquid that is created in the parent's throat. The diet then transitions to seeds. As the babies grow, they will gain more feathers, and juvenile morning doves may almost have a scaled appearance, with white marks on their face, which can make them appear to look like other dove species. Although morning doves are beloved by some, they are actually the most hunted bird in the United States, with over 20 million morning doves being shot each year. However, the population has still remained healthy, with about 350 million morning doves still in the U.S. Interestingly, even though these affable birds face plenty of perils, they can actually live quite a long time for a bird. The oldest recorded morning dove was over 30 years of age. If you'd like to attract morning doves to your yard, they particularly love millet, especially when it's on the ground or in a large platform feeder. Chances are high that they're already somewhere nearby and the easy food source will likely bring them in relatively quickly. Are you a fan of this common and goofy species? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Thank <music> you.